good night and all the lovers of freedom. My greeting to you all, the lovers of freedom, wherever you are, wherever you come inside. I say good afternoon on this part of the world. By special grace of Chukwu Kika Abiyah, today is 21 January 2022. As we normally do every Sunday, we cross session Asia National Coordinators. Asia National Coordinators always come on your way every Sunday. And uh, it's exactly this time. So if you are resident in Biafra or in Zoological Republic, please do us a favor by every Sunday, 5 a.m. Biafra time to 7.30 a.m. Biafra time. All the way to in Lady of Biafra. You are going to be hearing from all school station Asia national coordinators. Few of us, not all. But before we proceed today, by special grace of Chuko Kikabiyama, we must call upon the name of Chuko Kikabiyama. Because we Biafrans, we indigenous people of Biafrans, we broadcast like no other people on this surface of the earth. We have the way we approach things. We have the way we are doing our own things. We don't do the things. We don't go or we not follow proper opinions. Here on Radio Biafra, we do things the way Chukwoka narrated us. That is why any Brace day we want to broadcast, we always call upon the name of Chukwoka Biafra. Before we proceed, please, wherever you are, listen and listen good, listen and listen attentively. I'm going to call upon the name of Chukwu Kitabi, the Almighty God, the Almighty Creator, the Creator of heavens and earth. I pray now in Igbo language. Chuku Okike Adama Ekekele Nugwenova Ono Kuyani Nebu E na Emem Ono Umbido Nawogo Chikeli in a Momo Yakrem Ono Snai Gad I were not Ono Masay Nai Gad and Narandi and I were not Ono Masay Nadia Franjadia Ono Masay Nawa Lida Masin and Kama Gad and Narandi and Onye oma se na omu ya ni ne bundi na kpoku ni ime mmo na ezo kuna na ombo wa ni na di chiche o wes na ncha ga de utu aka yesu we de kwara onye oma se na o ga eji aka ya ba ka o ja pike doctor onye ndu ai doctor ndu ni ne ti nu ro po ni ebe nsuzo di chiche na ala bu bia fra na na ala di na ala ndi su bu na ntiria onye menu ko masrege Biafra. Macaron people and then Naha. On people and Dubu. And no guy becoming a miss. No Ganadi Hanya. I can go to Poki Kabiama. Tipurini Hanile. Oh, yes, I know why I won't be a POB. There were talents that may know why I will be Afra. You went to Nomoku, where I'm going to go to Ekene <laughs> Tio bia bele ti de so biko me no mu ke bele na pa no na iko chichire ni ina njida bo chichire 
Naptaina Kando Cho Naptaina Koya Naptaina Kiho Cho Making a good Kenny Mendoy Making a good Kenny Malaya La Biafra Macanina Biafra we have Macambai will Biafra we have to catch any Mendoy or to trade our war also. You can look at me who can be a baby. Yaka Poko to Chukuki Kadama because they are came on your own, okay? When I have Biafra Makana, you go to the inner bank. In a Ponai Biafra, my own one, Nayu Kubumas and Kanes, how you be a madam. Yaka Poko Gume here to Kuoki Kadama. On your queer in a Buena, Emma, when you don't be the novel. Oh, Taki, you will like to be a doctor in dry mass and the canoe. Now, Rick, no good gondo. Where of time, where will I fight the Afra Nina or would you fight where Patani Mabahon? I am waiting a year one. Oh, I am waiting a year one. Macanaso in the Bapano or Salatum. On your Pano Yadi, when only my Bapa Quack in a friendly in a bundle and a bambo. Engage near Benzu so did cheat and Kayamaro. Ndane make it a new booth and net if I need if a name if he fought all the chicken. Only Melbourne, Uncle Uncle Happy, and Nimi Hineme. Open don't bring back, I wait in a Ganaka to cook it because Nerafaka. What Matundi Rona will make up a panime on the Noy bed, Serafa? Cafa Romanova. Nakuria Gamano watching the tattoo cook it because what is your own of Nimi Hanine? Gosian do be after Mabon and Hanoman Kukuan and Kuanine. Gosom YPOB. Gosian the bed name of one is open. Make and daughter or Bundana by Pilbin back, Kana Fanny. Make you for Johnny Hanna and make all up again, you do. Manaka Sinke, Bopatala Union Dry Mazin and the Can. Well, Piafra, when I will tell you one, well, call my ways work. I will tag him away again. No, we have been high, but it. Poor Nikan, but I am not watching Katan. Sit and you can go up to Koki, connect any one over. He said, He said, He said. Good afternoon once again, lovers of freedoms and IPOB. Wherever you domicile, please come close to Radio Biafra because there is uh, some issues we want to discuss today. There is a lot of issues that have been bothering us for a very long time now. But by special grace of Chukwoki Kabiyama, we are seeing how things are going. And we are well pleased. Our prayer and our thought and our heart is for those things that you have to and have suffered, those work to and have suffered, let to and accomplish it. That at end, everybody will be rejoiced and be happy and be glad. Without wasting more time again, I will introduce myself. I still remain your humble servant. Mas Osko Keke. By special grace of Chukwu Kama, I hear from Nanka. Nanka in Oka province. Anambra. Biafra land. By special grace of Chukwu Kika Biyama, I'm also Asia representative and also member of the US, member of the United States. Uh, I'm also, I'm here with me with cross session. Asian National Coordinator, a few of them. But before we proceed, I must call them for them to introduce themselves first before we now go to the topic we have for today. And before we proceed, I must also uh, thank our watchmaker, our presenter. I will not forget him because he has been doing a great job. Also, he's the one that gives us the opportunity for us to use his platform to propagate this gospel. So, Mars Watchnecker, I say, may can bless you immensely. Uh, without wasting more time, I call upon Maze. Maze, can you hear me? Please introduce yourself to Biafrans. Yes, Maze, I'm Biafra. I'm Biafra. I hope I'm coming out. <clears throat> very, very loud and clear. Go ahead. All right, thank you. Uh, Biafrans, friends of Biafrans and lovers of freedom worldwide, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night depending on your time zone. My name is Mazi Okechuku Ewim, and I hail from Omaka. Omaka is in Olu province of Biafra land. 
but by the special grace of Elohim, Chukwok Kadiyama. I am the national coordinator of IPOB India. And on behalf of this glorious family, IPOB India, I bring my greetings to our listeners worldwide this morning. And I say may Chukwok Kadiyama continue to protect and deliver his judgments favorable unto IPOB and its leadership in the name of Chuko Kadiyama. Oh, you see, thank you very much. Thank you, Machineke, for the opportunity of uh, using your platform to propagate this particular message. I will hand over, the, I will turn the microphone to you, oh, you see, Mazios Kokeke, why I stand by. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maze. Okay, I was meant to understand that I make a mistake by the date of today's date is, please, dear friends and lovers of freedom, please do forgive me. Today's date is 23rd, 23rd of January, 2022, not 21st, please, as Amelia said, please forgive me. My apologies. Uh, so without wasting more time, let me quickly go to Mars. Mars, can you hear me? Please, if you can hear me, introduce yourself. Yeah, when you see, I can hear you. Go ahead, please speak up. Yeah, great peer plans. For that of people. I mean, good afternoon. My name is Waimo Chinedu. Waimo Chinedu, I come from Akko, Autonomous Community, in Otigwe province, Biafra land. By the special grace of Elohim, served in Biafra as national coordinator of the Kingdom of Cambodia. I say, Mitchell Kabiama continue to bless us and protect us in the mighty name of him. There were mass the hospital theater. I return back, back to my question. Thank you very much, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi. Uh, without wasting more time, please, lovers of freedoms and their friends, wherever you are listening to us, or if you are domiciled in Biafra land, please give us your attention. I know some of you people are preparing or warming up for church because today is Sunday. Some of you people have some other engagement. Some people are staying in their bed. Some people are still calculating. Some of people are praying morning prayer. Some people are in morning devotions. Some people are different activities. Some people are opening their early shops. Some people are doing other things. I don't know what you are doing at the moment, but please give us audience, give us little attention, please. There is a message today we want to deliberate. Because every Sunday we always like to come on your way and discussing issues, especially happenings in Biafra land and Nigeria. Today is not an exception. Today we have a, another topic again. Our topic today is the outcome of Omaha High Court, High Court Omaha in Abia State. You know, a week today, we Asia National Coordinator will discuss that any son, any attorney, any chief justice that called, said, or, or in the media, or in secret, or in only open press, said that our leader John Bell, that you should call that person a killer. That is uh, our take care away last week. And today, as usual, the Omaha High Court, High Court Omaha, prove us right. You cannot come to kill someone. Miraculous, the person survive, the person escape, you turn around and send the person jump bell. It doesn't make sense. Despite we are not professional, our discipline will not score, will not school in maybe in a, as a legal, as a lawyer, as an attorney, as whatsoever. But we have a common sense. 
you cannot go to media and begin to de debate even our main media in Nigeria. You will see Channel TVs, see AIT, mention them. They will be busy saying the leader of indigenous people of uh, IP, indigenous people of Biafra, John Bell. And these men and women is not shame. They're not even ashamed of themselves. And they say they're journalists. They're, they're journalists. I don't understand the type of journalists they are. A week today, we analyze these things. They cannot come and kill someone. Someone miraculous escape, and he said the person John Bell. So I said, whether the person is a presenter, is anchor, is TV anchor, is presenter, TV presenter, whatsoever capacity, or whether the person is happening, who save that person, whether political or politicians or, or, or governor, who save open his dirty mouth and said our leader must in and can jump bell, call the person a killer. That is a take, a take away a week today message. And the, the, what we preach, Chukwu can prove us right that what we said is right. By using a very honorable, respectable, reputable, Benson, Anya, to deliver this justice. Because we take a courageous person to stand. Many people know this thing is evil, but who and who can be able to stand on the gap to defend that justice? Of course, from inception, from since 1960 to 1970, everybody has seen that what is going on in Nigeria, there is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of uh, injustice. There are a lot of lies, there are a lot of corruption. But nobody has the courage to stand in truth until our leader must not come. It doesn't mean that other people are not observing it. It doesn't mean that other people don't know that there is injustice. It doesn't mean that the other people don't know that there is a corruption in Nigeria. It doesn't mean that other people don't know that there is a, a lot of things going on in Nigeria. They observe it in silence. They are communicating secret. But nobody has the courage to come out boldly, like a lion, to say that enough is enough. People say that they are, they are think tower. They will now have a murmuring, say all of all, all manner of things, but none of them have the courage to come and stand. To say that enough is enough. Only our leader must in and can and the IPOB. That's true that I said enough is enough. If you want to die, let's so be it. If you want to live, let us live and then stand on the cap. Today we are seeing the result. So when you want to criticize, when you say you are a professor, you are a doctor, you are blah, 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 how many of you people have the courage to stand on the gap to face the enemy? You may have brilliant idea, but if you cannot come out to stand and deliver that thing, Whatever you are doing is nonsense. It's like one of a friend of mine during the time of uh, some years ago. He told me he may study a, a law in school, but if you cannot, if you are not outspoken, if you cannot let those your intelligence that you, uh, you write in book in fiscal communicate it in a normal in a in a court, you are not. Uh, in fact, it's like uh, all your education is like nothing. Because you will be able to advocate, you can be able to stand the pressure. That is what this honorable, reputable man have excised once again. Benson Anya. In fact, the man deserves a award. He's a very honorable man. And I want all that judicial system in Nigeria to stand tall like this man. To stand in part of truth. To stand to face the enemy. Because collectively we will win this war. It's because of our cowardness, because of we are always cajole, because of we are fear, because of we are so fearful, because of we are so ignorant. That is why we can stay in our bedroom and speak a lot of grammar. But when you come out in open, they ask you a question, you live in peace. You will be run away. Because there is others that said when you bombarded a young man with a spirit, uh, uh, when you bombarded a young man with your questions, he swallowed his experience. That is what's going on. Those people that say they are intellectual, when they are in the face one-on-one -on -one with a coward, when they are one-on-one -on -one with the full and injunctive they will, they will be so cowed. 
They will not be able to stand on two feet and defend their right. Because they are so fearful, they are so afraid, they don't have the courage. But our leader have demonstrated that time and time and time and time. And this is what Benson and Yad also demonstrated. And we want a lot of people to force suit. If you are military, force suit. If you are police, force suit. If you are chief justice, force suit. Any plastata you are in the Nigeria, you need to stand tall and say that enough is enough. We need men, not, not, not women. We need men. We need people that can act like a lion. We don't need the coward people. This man has demonstrated to the whole world that is still remnant of people, that is still remnant of men of honor. In fact, it's not about it's not all about the, 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 the this man understood the magnitude, the regatic crime Nigerian government committed against our leader, Mazin and the Khan. Then Trump him upon his rights. These men people are evil people. And we must speak it and we must say it the way it is. Of course, what is always problem is many people have the same idea. But who can come out boldly enough and to challenge the theological republic? That is always a problem. And once they see people that can have the courage, have the have the have the goal to stand, some people will begin to envy, jealous. But they cannot be able to be like him. They cannot be able to demonstrate what he demonstrated. If we approach police like a never see tomorrow. If you honor the SS, do your work diligently. Stand in justice. Any place here in the Zoological Republic, make a difference. If you started making a difference wherever you find yourself, you see gender will, will stop. Genderism in Nigeria will end. Everybody will be happy and go to their own ethnic nationality and begin to build civilization. How can few individuals we now use millions upon millions of people? It's because of our foolishness, because of our foolishness, because we are so stupid. You mustn't be an IPOB member. You mustn't be a, 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 a Biafra. If you have some man and you feel that you understand, you understand that what Janja would for a Nicabal, a dream us is an injustice. Stand firm wherever you in the position you are. Call the spread, the spread. Don't be afraid. Because it's because of our cowardness we make these people to do what they are doing. Learn from IPO leadership. In fact, let me let me tell our listeners. What high, uh, what uh, 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 Omar High Court demonstrated a few days ago is to show the world that we still have remnant of two to four people in Biafra land. In fact, it's a very foundation to learn whatsoever we're going to happen in Abuja. In a real or in two democratic nation. The case of our leader shouldn't have been gone to Abuja. The case should have been be settled in Abia High Court, not going to Abuja. But because then the weed is in power, because then the weed is in, in every part of the Zoological Republic, that is why they now do things the way they, they didn't think. Nobody puts on them. In fact, the, the, the pronouncement of uh, Abia High Court supposed to be final. Yes. Because Afali Bek is in Omaha, is in Nadia State. This the event that took place is in Nadia, not in Abuja. It's the place they're supposed to bring the justice, do everything, and whatever they do that place is supposed to be final. But because of injustice is why they're now bringing the case to Abuja. What we have been saying here for a very long time, a few days ago, we proved right. 
that our leader is innocent. You cannot live like one of my colleagues who always give that parable, and I love it. He said, he can you learn? 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 People will come to our leader and kill, massacre the people in hundreds. They leave those people that committed genocide. Going for somebody that miraculously he survived. Going after that person is not a is not a lunatic. Is not a very wicked wicked heart. In fact, heartless people. That is why when in this part of the world when they describe him, Black people, they will say to you, they will tell you, black people with a black heart. How can somebody went to somebody's house, massacre the people in hundreds, make or somebody escape, and he said that that person is John Bell? Lovers of freedom and Gaffer, please listen, listen good. I see maintain, I still stand in my in the week today uh, uh, broadcast. That anybody even open his mouth, say that our leader John Bell called the person a killer. Today we need to understand these things. It's very, very important. That is why, by special grace of Chukwu Kikabiyama, today Chukwu Kikabiyama have given us vector. Today Chukwu Kikabiyama have vindicated us that what we have been saying for a long time is true. And they have vindicated our leader that he's an innocent man. He's a prisoner of uh, conscience. That is why today Zorotko Republic cannot speak again. They are now going and uh, going with Hunter Skater, trying to run around, trying to uh, 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 forge one thing because they are good in forging. When they bring him some false accusations, you will think they have something. Why the truth is telling at them? Tell me how can you come and model people in hundreds, perhaps thousands, according to the entire society organization? You leave that thing. That one you never bother you. You never, you never check what happened, what transpired. You keep on saying the person jump there. And even on top of that, you bring them different charges. So also the public they never have any shame. Nigeria is the definition of failure of black man. Nigeria is the definition of failure of black man. Nigeria is disgrace to the whole world. Nigeria is the evil entity. Nigeria is the anything evil that the in fact once you want to demonstrate the evil in the blackness is Nigeria is a is a good uh, example of it. They leave the whole thing, they massacred, the genocide they committed in Afro group. Even they went even ahead and came even dog. Nobody saying that, nobody even is talking about that. They now persecuting innocent man. Leave the real topic. Change the narrative. I never see in any country such a thing can happen. In fact, impossible always happen in Nigeria. Because of the leadership of Jan Jawi. But there is a something this uh, high justice, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the, the pronouncement they made in our own that will get me interested. Give you money, paying damages, second one, and also lend the apology to our leader. Now, this is the area I want to speak. This is the area I want to talk something. This is the area I want to say something. Very, very interested. For them to apolog uh, give apology to our leader is for them to give on that fe February, February 16th, which is the next court city. We send them this notice to Janita Wheat. What our leader needed is. If you want to apologize to our leader, apologize to our leader with Biafran nation freedom. Give our leader freedom. Tell him, I'm sorry, take your Biafran. This Biafran is what we want to say. Sorry for you for all the evil we have done. Take Biafran and go. Then you pay him damages. This is the only way we can accept that apology. 
anything apart from this, personally, I will never appreciate it. The apology, which if you now learn that our leader that you may even think in concerning to say, yes, I can now accept it. Give our leader, Biafran's freedom. That is apologies we need. Because 28 people that you murdered in cold blood in our land of in our leader's house, these people have families. They are husbands, they are wives, they, are, they have fathers, they have mothers. They have parents. They are human beings like you. What do we do to appease their spirit is for you to give us freedom, give us Biafra. That is the only apology you will learn that our leader, that we, our leader, our leader personally, and we, indigenous people of Biafra, we accept. And that is exactly what we need on February 16th. Nothing more, nothing less. Give us freedom. And that is what we are declaring today. On February 16th, we want to use the Zoological Republic, we don't need the uh, so ever. Divide Nigeria on February 16th, allow indigenous people to go on their separate way peacefully. We can now reconcile and uh, do business together if we are right. If you wish, it's not by force. Singapore separated from Malaysia. Today they are still doing business together, have a, a very good uh, diplomatic ties. It's what we want. Let us have a peaceful dissolution of Nigeria. Everybody should go their separate ways. That is exactly what we want. It's very, very important. And we must we must work towards this, this goal. We don't want anybody to deceive us. What we want is Biafran freedom. They cannot go starting from 90, 1929, they started murdering Biafran because of the name of one Nigeria. Millions of millions of millions of millions of Biafran have paid with their ultimate price, with their lives and families. 1960 to 1970, again, that is a war. Biafran was massacred. Since then, fast forward and to a date, Biafra have been, we have been using the blood of Biafra to join the Zoological Republic together. And the blood of Biafra have been massacring on daily basis. We said enough is enough. Come February 16th, we need you, the Zoological Republic, to sign it and give our leader flag to go. Freedom, that is apology. We accept it. Anything apart from that one, you know that you, you don't have shame of yourself. Or you, I will stop here because I have here with me with some of our national coordinators to do justice to this particular issue. So I'm um, calling upon the Maze, uh, Maze Oketukwe, with Maze Oketukwe, I hope you can hear me. What you go, what is your thought in concerning the Omaha uh, court outcome? So I want you to tell Biafram what you observe and what they should expect. Can you hear me? Yes, when you see, I can hear you loud and clear. Thank Go you ahead. very much for this opportunity. I want to use this opportunity to agree with dear friends once, once again. I remember as you, the IPOB coordinator here in the land of India. And I as well bring you greetings from this particular great family here in India. Uh, in respect to the question on ground, I just want to make it abundantly clear that the judgment delivered by this, uh, uh, by Justice uh, Ben Sinaya of Omaha High Court has gone a long way in redeeming the battered image of the judiciary in Nigeria. That is number one. And then number two is that according to that particular judgment, I strongly believe that IPOB, uh, I don't know if uh, it is, to, if I am to say, we commend the judgment, that, that particular judge that summoned the courage, that was courageous enough to deliver this particular uh, judgment, uh, the man deserves a commendation because since 2007, 14th of um, September 2017, that the Nigerian military invaded the um, the home of our leader, Mazin Nandikan, and killed 
28 persons at the immediate compa in the immediate compound of our leader, and then killed other killed uh, uh, Biafran youth in other parts of our state that very day, or other parts of Biafran land that run in thousands. Since that very particular day, it was only on the 19th of January 2022 that we were able to receive any kind of judgment that is worthy to say that oh, this uh, judicial system of uh, this the judicial system of this particular court, so to say, is uh, something to write home about. Because if you look at the real re situation in Nigeria. Basically, the judicial system of Nigeria, everything is in shambles. But I commend this uh, Justice uh, Ben Nanya, who summoned that courage, who, who thought it is time or right for him to stand very tall and deliver the true judgment. Because uh, according to uh, one thing I had to say here again is that according to Martin Luther King Jr., who once said that the ultimate measure of a man is not where he lies in the time of comfort, but where he lies in the time of challenges and the controversy. That particular assertion comes into reality in, in this case because IPOB have been running head and skater, running from place to place, looking for justice, looking for who will stand very tall, looking for who will be courageous enough, looking for who will uh, depend on the, that which is uh, right. Just like uh, 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 the Bible said that uh, uh, it is only the truth that can set us free. Say the truth and it shall set you free. It was only on that very particular day that IPOB, with the uh, potency of our argument and the, that of our leader, for many, many years, it is only on that particular judgment that we are able to say yes, at least there is, there is with, this, with this particular line of action, there is every hope. There is a hope for a common man, and then there is hope for Biafrans for our, our on our plight for Biafran restoration. Because uh, looking at what is going on in Nigeria, with the existence of the current trend in the Nigerian judiciary, everybody will always believe that we cannot get justice from Nigeria. But I don't know how it actually happened. Maybe through the manifestation of God, more or through the God's intervention, because. Uh, the Bible led us to know that the minds of a king is at the palm of the God's hands, of which God can change it to favor who he wants to favor. I believe maybe that was exactly what transpired that very particular day, because apart from the, the, among the whole judges in Nigeria, the only person that have stood his ground to deliver a judgment that will stand the test of the time or the, that, will, that posterity will not forget this particular judgment. And this particular judgment has paved a way, has given a direction to IPOB argument. And this particular judgment has made us to stand very, very tall on our argument, hoping for better days ahead. What actually happened that very day was, I don't know how to, it was exceptional. Let me put it that way. Because Justice John Ben Sinania has delivered a message. He has delivered a judgment that has changed the, uh, that has redeemed the battered image of Nigerian judicial system. And I strongly believe that, uh, be that as it may, uh, Justice uh, Binta Nyako had to emulate Justice uh, uh, Ben Sinania who delivered this particular judgment on that video? Because no matter how you run, that was why I, I made the, I, I, I quoted the, uh, um, uh, 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 Martin Luther King. No matter how they delay it, no matter how long it takes, no matter how they twist the truth, no matter how, I don't know, how they do it, in the end, the truth must surely come out. I don't know what gave our leader the effrontery to stand and decide to challenge these people, even at their own court. He said it long time ago, our leader said it, and I quote, I will challenge them in their own court, and I will defeat them. And he started, even when Buhari, the late Buhari was alive, our leader stayed inside his own court in Abuja and told him that he don't have the capacity. He was not educated enough to jail our leader. That was what our leader said, that he is mad. I strongly believe that that was what the uh, caused his death, because having had 
this young man saying this type of things in his own court, just like he's coming to your house to tell you that you are mad, that you don't have the capacity, you are not educated enough to do this type of thing. I think that was what uh, gave him the heart failure that had caused his death. We may not know. So, no matter how long it takes them, it's just like uh, throwing something off. That's the force of gravity. When that force through which you throw that thing off exhausts, it must surely return. It is called the law of retributive order. Just like in this particular case, no matter how long it takes, no matter how they hide the truth, a day will come. The true judgment will come up. So it does not matter what they do. do. And what I strongly believe again is that uh, in terms of the, uh, the 15 count charges, that they have uh, the seven count charges that, that they have added to make it up to 15. Let me say this. It's not as if they don't know the truth. It does not mean that they don't know the truth. They know the truth, but they only want to use this uh, uh, additional of uh, uh, count charges, rubbish count charges that is baseless. And according to uh, the lead uh, counsel, to our leader, our leader and IPOD, Mike Ozekeme, he said that the case that is dead on arrival because those kind charges are baseless and fruitless. They cannot make any meaning. They cannot, in any uh, judicial setting, it does not make any meaning to start saying that, oh, this person broadcasted, this person he broadcasted in the UK, and then you are holding him responsible in Nigeria. Is that his person mad? In the eyes of the law, these particular kind charges are baseless. They don't have any root. So they are as good as nothing. So for somebody to come out and say that, oh, he is uh, raising uh, another seven count charges in, uh, uh, on top of the ones they, are, uh, they have been handling previously, it shows that they know the truth, but they don't want to go to the truth. They just want to use it as a delay tactic. It is a delay tactic. Everybody knows the truth. Even a newly born baby knows the truth. The Nigerian judicial system, Nigerian government, Nigeria whatsoever don't have the capacity, they don't have the jurisdiction to try Mazin And for, 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 for example, uh, for the uh, purpose of clarity, why, why, should they, why did they not uh, uh, make it uh, add uh, the fact that our leader said that Buhari is dead? Why are they hiding from that particular part? Why? Yes, Mazin Nandikano broadcasted from UK. Mazin Nandikano said that Buhari is mad. Mazin Nandikano said that Nigeria is a zoo. But you boycotted the main point, the main truth, the main... Where he hit the point. Why should you have to do that? If you know that you, are, you, you, you mean your argument, if you know that you are standing very strong and tall on your argument, you should have made mention of... Uh, our leader saying that Buhari is dead, so that our, because I trust our leader, so that our leader will use that particular platform and bring Nigeria to its name completely. They know it. They know that that is exactly where our leader is waiting for them. They know. <laughs> Mazin, that Almighty Mazin, that the Colonel, <laughs> he is waiting for them to say that, uh, oh, uh, after all, he said that uh, Buhari is dead. Then. Our uh, leader will now sit up and ask them one simple question, and, my, and Nigeria will collapse instantly. So, what I have to say here is that Justice Ben Sinanya, kudos to you, and other ju ju judges in Nigeria should emulate him because uh, you only emulate what is good, not evil. But I understand that in Nigeria, Nigeria and Nigerians like emulating evil. From evil to evil, from evil, just like uh, as a Tinubu is jumping up and down now uh, to uh, take over uh, uh, power from um, uh, 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 Fulani Kabas, as if he is going there to do anything. He's not going there to do anything. He is only going there to continue where the Kabas want to stop. That is the type of emulation Nigeria is good at. But they are not good at emulating what is good. And they forgot one thing. No matter what they do this moment, the whole world, the eyes of the whole world is on, on Nigeria, looking at what they will do. Because I know that the world is evil, but the day will come when they will start demanding for justice for Mazin Nandekan. It, 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 
no matter how they had hide it. Hence, the consistency is involved. Hence, IPOB is still standing very strong. Hence, IPOB is still resilient. Hence, we are consistent in our pursuit. Hence, we have not given up. No matter the rigors on the road, no matter the challenges we, have, we are facing, no matter the extrajudicial killings of our youth, no matter the uh, intimidation, no matter everything that the new government is doing to IPOB members, we are still standing very strong and tall to defend what we believe on. That is why our leader summoned all courage. That is why our leader submitted himself as the lamb of sacrifice to make sure that Biafra is being delivered at this particular dispensation. And that is why IPOB is still standing, standing taller than any other person in Nigeria. And that is why our argument is more potent than what you can think of. So I don't think I have so much things to say about this issue, rather than to say that, number one, just like our able, uh, our, our able rep said earlier on, in the real uh, judicial setting, for instance, in the country that knows what they are doing, this case, the issue of Mazin and the Kanu should have been tried in Omaha court, because that is where, where the case has the jurisdiction, that is the court that has the jurisdiction to try this particular matter. Taking this matter from Omaha, that is the hometown of uh, Mazin and the Kanu to Abuja, is because the Janjaweed is in power. And that is why they want to try it wherever they like. But this slightest opportunity that Barrister Ejimako, kudos to you also, this opportunity he used to take this matter to uh, uh, Omaha court, that was the reason why uh, we are able to get this particular uh, judgment. So without wasting much of our time, I just want to let the, our listeners to understand this morning that Mazin Nan the canon does not have any case to answer in Nigeria. As far as this particular judgment is, uh, this particular judgment has laid a foundation to the remaining cases. No, that is where the standing point. Hence, they don't have the jurisdiction to. They should pay our leader the compensation. They should as well apologize to our leader and then give us. So, apart from that, we don't have any business with night. Even if that happens do something with them in the future. It will be discussed on the long term. But if we... They should give us a, a, a date of reference so that we will go our separate ways. Or you see, I think at this juncture, I don't have much again to say rather than to hand over back the microphone to you. And bye. They were watching it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that uh, wonderful speech. I hope our listeners are listening and listening and also paying a close attention. Our leader have no case to answer. They have no question. They have no case. In fact, the is supposed to be the case because he cannot go and commit genocide in, in someone's house and uh, uh, Saying you know, this person will commit this one, commit the uh, uh, other one. Problem now is the Zoological Republic and the military, uh, military wing and the Air Force and uh, all the whole different arms of uh, military. Whether you call it Navy, you call it Air Force, all of them are supposed to bring them to the justice and court martial. Because these people committed a lot of atrocities. They massacred innocent people. Because we're not in the war. They just went to uh, uh, our leader's house and begin to shoot like if they are uh, in a war zone. Imagine. And I never see in any place in this world when you ask for referendum, the target terrorists, I never see such a thing happen. It never happened. We see what is going on in Scotland. We see what they are going on where else and less of them. After a, a, a referendum, then conducted the second one again, even planning for the third one. And that's not what they're calling that woman, the MP, or what they're calling that woman. And they never call that woman a terrorist. And this, this, uh, this thing that happened is in the UK. Our colonial master, as they say to say, 
And this Janja weed always have their money in their bank. Always go in that place for medical treatment. They never emulate these things. But when you declare we need the referendum, they, they attack you, uh, terrorists. Tell me in a country such a thing will happen. It's only a logical problem. But there are brothers and sisters, there are kings and uh, their sisters that are committing crime people at will. Anyway, those people are in their Peru. Boko Haram and uh, Banditri and Behetiala uh, and rest of it, etc. All of them are in their, they're doing their work. That is why these people are never prescribed. That is why me, today Mayor Tiala is in government, is an uh, official uh, uh, terrorist. They are in different government, uh, uh, even they have their own emblem. They have their official car in Nigeria. That is what terrorists can now transfer legal money, transfer money, use Nigerian bank system, official one transfer, and Nigerian so DSS will see it, they will not make any comment. Nigeria will be bad on our own one. We are crime. We now consume itself to be to know which one is more stronger. A terrorist organization are doing transaction in Nigeria, and government and so-called intelligence. When they say this intelligence, you see them with big muscles and big legs. You thought that these people they have the, all the intelligence. Very useless set of people. Their intelligence is for innocent people. How they will kill? How they will, they will slaughter? How they will be tortured. These people are human, bro, human suckers, bro suckers. Demons. We thought they were gather their intelligence to do something. Not how it nothing. This their intelligence is targeted to innocent people. Once you speak the truth, they will look for you, they will kill you. That is why they're breaking nonsense, uh, roll out nonsense, uh, whatever, whatever number, and uh, Nigeria, whatever, whatever, and uh, I and uh, I don't know the full meaning. Saying you must register, you must register. This is for them to track the innocent people. Once you speak the truth, they will track you down and kill you. But their brothers and sisters, Boko Haram and the Metala and the uh, 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 Ash Web in Africa, and the rest of them, all those stories, they allow them to flourish. That side is no go area. Imagine Nigerian military, uh, uh, Air Force Academic, or what they call it military academic. These terrorists will go to that place and massacre people and even take people hostage. Five hours they will shoot non-stop. Nobody will say anything. Nigerian government will not respond. But today they will come to Biafra land. When you just tweet, said, government stop bribery, government stop corruption, they will track you and let you allocate that person. Tell me what kind of country is that one? In fact, the worst thing that happened to black race is Janja Wood in, in the power. Foreigners. For them to be in power is the evil that happened to black race. This is demons from the from the bottomless pit. Because if they are, if they are even have conscience, have kind of heart, have a shame as a black race, they should have. When the, these people are traveling, travel to the UK, travel to other even Arab countries, Middle East and less of them, they would have. Say, wow, this one is, is steady light and the security. They will come back and be ashamed of themselves as African people. They will try to change things. But they never be ashamed because they are, these people, they are, oh, they are wicked people. They are demons. They never see anything good. And they are people that are holding us down. Something I imagine somebody, some people like uh, 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 all these uh, so even so governors, they will go to USA, go to even small small country that even only one state in Anambra in Nigeria is even richer than them. Lagos state as per se is richer than some countries in Asia, in Europe. But if you if you go there, you will see steady rights. You in any apartment you rent, any house you rent, you will see you will see steady water. Portable road, access to internet, access to hospital, quality education, all these necessity, all of them are provided by government, not by campaign promises. It's necessity. And these people, even that, even every time they are every time, they're not even what half of what some state in Nigeria are earning. But yet, their country are well-built, well-developed. 
the same thing that we do, holding on everybody, pressing us on the ground. When you said no, enough is enough, let us do the civilization. They, they will go after you and kill you. What a wicked people. They are demons. And these so called DSS, their work is to kill them people. They have no you know, that work. They are intelligent to be zero because they are not, they're not capable enough. What they can do is to try to innocent people down and kill them and please them. Torture them, they, they will die. This is the only thing they know best. For the forty, that is only their work they can do. When the people speak truth, they will hold the person down and kill the person. That is why today Africa is the way it is because of people, people like this DSS. They do in they do in community, in, in criminal innocent people. You will never see any of them to stand the truth. They never be ashamed of themselves. Acquiring wealth that they can, they, their generation cannot even even be able to finish. Tell me somebody like a uh, what are you going there to do? A man that is having health challenge, an old man. He has acquired a, a, a wealth, acquired wealth, even tired of acquiring wealth. And he's still going there saying he wants to live with himself. Let him continue with his family. He may continue, no problem, but we want Biafran. So once we Biafran separated our way, go our separate way, he may continue with the gentle with no problem. I don't have anything against uh, uh, Tunibu. But for him, said we want the Zoological Republic, he knew that was God for battle. We must have be gone our own way. So you may continue. No problem for them. They will continue. But not to not to renew us. We be after no it's impossible. The second of the same old disease. Snare. All these evil evil men. The second. Tell me how go to other people. You see me young young men, 25 years, 35 years, 30, 40. Even brain are very, very sharp and very smart, energized to do work. This old man, when they will wake up, when they will stand up, you will help them, support them, they will stand up. Tell me how can, oh, Chukukika, what is going on in Africa? And some people wouldn't mind, they will die for this man. And they still use youth, giving them money. These people have silenced a lot of people, have changed the destiny of thousands and millions of people, pocketed them into their hand, their pocket. The same people that have changed millions of people are saying we want to do revenge. And people are saying, you this one. Since I'm, I'm quietly want to listen to, let me see those you warriors. Chai Buhadia, I never see that me again in media again. When you see people, they build, when Buhadia, let Buhadia uh, uh, create power. With me, uh, strategies, anything, they say, Chai Buhadia, Chai Baba. Those are the you never hear that word again from them. Why? Because the same man I claim them, even in North, they are massacring them. No, no, don't see man again to talk Chai Buhari. Watch social media. You will never see people saying Chai Buhari. No, no, they're saying it. Like the people are, uh, are crying. Even someone will do what they know if you say that, say Chai Buhari. But none of them are saying this to me again. Because truth always stand upright. It cannot be claimed people, you cannot eat your cake at the same time, have your cake. It's impossible. The young guy now a uh, Buhari handler. Nobody is saying anything about it. They're a very young man, they are palading everywhere. If you approach people, people with honor, they tear that plastic out. That you see the real person that is inside that because Buhari have died many, many, many years ago. And this people have keep people in dark, like my colleagues like the fool said. They added all those nonsense charges. They never said that our leader said that Buhari is, is, is late and Buna uh, buried in, in Saudi Arabia. Then you see how clever this DSS are. You see how clever these wicked people are. They never say anything about that. But they come adding, 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 say that our leader has said more number of things to Buhari. Why didn't they include that one too? If you saying that our leader said this thing, said that, or when you say something, speak something against the, against your present, it becomes a crime. No more freedom of speech. And what you say is truth. Let them prove you wrong. If you say Buhari is, is, is right, let him come out and speak a fruit. 
I wouldn't have challenged them multiple times, multiple occasions. Why are they silent? In fact, James and Reed, for your own information, the best thing for your people to do is for peacefully and quietly give us, give our leader freedom and give freedom. Give our, let our leader raise our flag. Let us go our separate ways. Because this war and this fight, you will never win it. That is a promise. Biafra must surely come. Because he cannot eat your cake at the same time have it. Say me want to bring to, you don't have the capacity, you don't have the you don't have the judicial, you don't have the power. That is why our legal team, you know what he's doing. He said the charges is dead in arrival. People are saying all these things. In Aslock, Aslock is empty. And he charged somebody said that he, he said this thing, he said that he, but he never charged him that he said that the, Buhari, the present is late. He never charged him that one. He added it. Let me quickly go to because we still have uh, uh, one of our uh, comrades who uh, says one or two things concerning our victory and also our the courageous uh, 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 man in a uh, uh, high court home that he uh, give the pronouncement that the uh, Zoological Republic need to uh, pay our leader one billion naira for uh, uh, damages and also apologize to him. So, Maze, Maze, uh, Maze. What do you have to say about this? What you think? Can you hear me? Yeah, on you see. I shall have a work. Go ahead. Yeah, great dear friends and lovers of freedom. I've been few beatings once again from Land of Camp. Yeah, what are great dear friends? What I have to say over our victory in Omaha here. I can say it's well deserved victory. Very well deserved victory. But I want this person, Anya, for the courage, for being a courageous man, because even Nigerians, those that believe in the zoo, they are all still in shock because none of them believe that a son judges can be given. And State of Abia, from that very justice, from that very joy. Because in Nigeria, people find it very difficult to get justice. But this man showed that a people, a man of caliber, are still in the in their judicial system. But what transpired in Abia State? Is confirmed state terrorism, or for the state sponsor terrorism. Because that very, that very day, that very year, 2017, when they planned the operation by down, all their aim was just to eliminate our leader, William Dumas, and his followers. And that very operation, they ended. So, killing 28 men instantly, including his dog, God. Now, we are not talking about others being killed that because Operation Python Dance took thousands of souls away from Biafra land. We all remember how we find different bodies being littered in all over the forest in Biafra land. Of result, result of of a compound dance. So many families, so many mothers were made childless. Through Operation Python dance. Yes, we got victory from Adia High Court. But then what they say that government should power leader one billion. Really, one billion is not what we're asking for. And the money is not what we are asking for. But why we are happy over the judgment is because it's a stepping stone to show that victory is already around the corner. Because everything that concerns the struggle and the judgment and Omar here at the High Court shows that Biafra 
must be restored in our own time. Because victory is always a victory. And nothing, like they say, once light comes, darkness disappears. Truth always remains true. And that's what the victory will go for more to fight for us. We lose people, we lose lives. They are not talking about that. They're only talking about they want to stay. But we, the indigenous people of Biafra, the money is not our problem. And that is not what our leader is demanding for. Our we want total freedom of Biafra. They should flip free our leader and give him dead for referendum for Biafra to exit from Nigeria in peace. So that all the ethnic group in Nigeria, those who want to leave, will leave. Then those who don't want to leave will remain the plan needs. But like for us, the Biafran, we're already on our way. But our trend has left the So I want to is this very opportunity to say a very good time, a very big time, and kudos to Justice Benson Anya for that pronouncement. He's a man of courage. For even the hardcore Nigerian as at this surprise, nobody did. No matter what happened in the other states or in Nigeria, the zoo as a whole. The federal government knows that our leader, Mazen Nam Khan, has no case to answer. That all they are doing is just to delay the coming of the Afra, of which they cannot, because it's time. It's like a pregnant woman that has a child on first month, first week, one month, two months. So the what is the good date of nine months? Child, the baby in the stomach will be so agitated to come out. It's either the mother gives birth to the child or the mother dies with the child. That is the nature of life. And that is the Biafra of the Israeli time. Because then of him make you under make us understand that the Biafra will come in our time. And that is why he raised our leader on the Mazen and the Khan to free come and fight for, for his people. We all know that it's not going to be easy as we have been fighting, they have been killing, kidnapping, raping for years. But I can say I'm happy that at their stage, my cause, there was different. That shows that freedom of Biafra is very clear. Coming to the seven can charge amended. I'm not too ashamed about that because I somewhat believe and trust our legacy. Like our legacy leader said, our legacy leader said that the charges is dead on arrival because they can and they have no jurisdiction of our leader to try him. Even Nigeria, Nigeria as a country also commit crime. You cannot try somebody you kidnap. If they know that they want to try our leader, they should have they should have not kidnapped him. They should have invite him. Go through the right channel for a tradition for the extraordinary revenge council of Nigeria. So they lost every decision to try him. So all these things they are doing in Abuja High Court is just time to waste time, to buy time. To see if they can hold their election. But all their plans are still. And the Afra will be Don't check what is happening on in Nigeria. Especially in the north. In the land of the Ganja we where they conquered. They deploy, they deploy all their soldiers into the other land. And killing, killing, in 
Ben bu menanti de ya falan. Ve bende ne bir boda, ya bu müzeyi kimi diyor? Topun, koro. Oteron planı hasine. Kandavu. Bandi, iswa. Ama diyorsun peyin uca on koyun. Because they are killing our people with their multi-military. Whereby the terrorists are massacring their own. See? These people that call themselves the government, the Nigerians, the people are the terrorists, the Taliban, the Taliban, the, the cabal that is governing Nigeria. They are so angry. Because they don't even care about the blood of their country. I... I only want to advise them to play our leader on the margin of the time because he commits no crime. He's a prisoner of conscience. He's the man that Chico Kadama bring out to rescue his people. The same the way he bring Abraham to feed the Israelites. Always say that what God has done, what God has done, them, nothing. Yapa, again, by God, and no man or woman can stop it from us. On this note, I want to say a very big thanks again, for this that very that great pronouncement we made in other states as well. The my soul, the soul, the rain, the God is with us in this great struggle. Yeah, dear friends, as we all know that our leader is still, still in the hands of, the, of our enemies, I encourage, I appeal to all of their friends, every dear friend, no man abroad, always commit him to the hands of the enemies. That's his, which is his one. The man that came to flee on his people. On the shackle of the planet. So every of their plan to subdue him into submission has failed. And I believe planet caliphate or APC government has nothing against me anymore. So what are we are expecting on the 16th of February is discharge and acquitted. Of Onion Dumas in Manhattan, and they're dead for reference. Like their God, like their court said, they should pay him one billion dollar naira and they apologize to him. Yes, it's good for them to apologize to him for all the crime of mama, him, man, human, human treatment, and those killed at the rest that his own time after the people. But the most important thing for the indigenous people of the Afro are careful they for referendum. That is the most important thing. And that is what we are clamoring for. Because referendum is not a war. A call for a referendum is never a call for war. So many countries get freedom through referendum without war. I don't know why in Africa, before a country will be free, they must fight war. An international community can moot. Just waiting for a war to break out so that they can send their arms and their ammunition. But we say, let's go call them a for this. They are not going to fight war in our land and we get the army. So I urge all be from wherever you are. Hearing my voice this very day, I ask you to please, especially today is Sunday. In wherever church you want to go today, please remember to put our leader on the margin and pray. And ask to Kadiama to continue to strengthen him. Like he said, to strengthen him during his own time, during the time of his life. So that at the end, Victory 
Tadi awas. Di kotulu, tadi terusaran di kotulu. Well, I have to end here because my colleagues already have caught all this. What I want to say, school guardian, continue to protect and bless the city of 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 the I hand over back the microphone to you. As it also gets up. There we go. Thank you very much, Marze. Marze, thank you very much. Please, if you are just joining us now, we still remain uh, Asia, Association of Asia National Coordinators. I'm here with me, few of them, Marze, Okechukwe Oguna, Marze, Tinedumu, Nuimo. All of us are here to do justice to our happenings in the Zoological Republic, which is called Nigeria. So if you are just listening to us, please, we, um, also, my name is still the member of Asia representative, uh, and we are here uh, still doing justice to uh, happenings in Nigeria. So we now want to enter into the second topic of today, because uh, we want to, in, uh, our second topic is in continuation, as we being directed from the head of the United of State, Mas J.K. He said by April of this year, we're going to, by court, total ban cow meat in the African land. Now, if come to think of it, you now reason why you keep that space of time, moons, is for us, we indigenous people, we the people can be able to put one or two things together to be able to feed our people. Sometimes, when we're discussing the issue, some of our people we may not understand. We can do our businesses. We can secure our health. But, you know, this very topic is very, very broadly for us to discuss because it, it, it contains a lot of things. And it's only sound mind we understand it. If you are not sound in mind, you cannot be able to comprehend it. Because there is a there is a saying that said, "Good health is wealth." You may become a billionaire, but if you are not healthy enough, you will not be able to enjoy that money. But if you are healthy, even if even if you don't have money. You will be able to do whatever you set your mind or whatever you have set your eyes upon to achieve on this life. You will be able to achieve it because mentally, otherwise, physically, you are, you are healthy. So, and if you want to achieve these goals, you must first of all uh, come down to the what you consume. That is why when you now see people like a, when you see heavyweights in the, in the boxing field, big athletics that have a big names, when they want to go to march, they will now call diet. Those people that are specialists in diet, they will now think of what kind of food they will consume, what kind of food they will eat that will now bring their energy. That we now give, energize them. That we now make them more stronger. That more make them more healthier. That we bring out, make sure they don't have, they're not gas when they go to the second land or third land. They will not gas. If the same thing we want to, IPO leadership want to do in Biafra land to prepare your land, to prepare you as an individual, to empower you as an individual, to make you to become healthy. Because healthy nation is a wealthy nation. Hungry people is an angry people. Some people don't understand what the IPO leadership have done so far and what they are doing and what they will do. Everything they have been martial out, everything they have bring out is geared towards the betterment of Biafrans in general. Every idea are well articulated 
every plant and world executed for improvement of Biafra. The food security we now say is not only about for the great food and make sure we have food in abundance and make sure that food is reaching the, even the remote areas. No, not only that. For you to be able to secure healthy food, something that you eat is not contaminated. Some people don't understand that food is what determines your health. The food, the, what you use to plant your food is very, very important. Some people don't know that there's some food you will continue eating. Within the next two or three years, you will not develop cancer. You develop different, different kind of sicknesses and diseases. And the way you say that uh, our children is, is leaders of tomorrow, you must first of all planning for their life. How can you secure their life first? Before you're planning for, for bigger events. Our people, there is the same in Ebola and say that's a time as a good thing. You must first of all secure their well-being through food. Make sure they have we have abundance of food. Make sure what we are eating is and consuming is well healthy and healthy enough to preserve our lives. We will restore Biafra to allow Biafra people to enjoy their nation. We will restore Biafra to allow our Biafra youth to, to enjoy themselves. Not the other way around, not when you drink a small panic and you come out in your back room and they start uh, enjoying yourself, being happy. Maybe you put small music and dancing and uh, happy, they will see, they say they see them. They will arrest you and kill you. Tell me what now zoological public have done for us, not to kill us. You go to another place, you see how things are enjoying themselves because they are the people, because they are indigenous people. Looking like this, they will be happy, congregate, not doing court, not sucking their own flesh and blood. They will congregate, they will be singing, dancing, jubilating themselves, being happy that they are indigenous people. We want to restore our glory back. When we can come in, you will be able to enjoy yourself. You remember your friends and go that place without thinking, without being molested by anybody, without being hacked. Hack your life without terminating your life. No! You will be able to go to your friend and drink pane with a bush meat. Enjoy yourself. If, if you're tired, you will sleep there the next day. You continue your journey. You begin to enjoy life. Now, nah, nothing like enjoying life. Most of things people are eating is, is preserved, with, is, is being contaminated. That is why you see so called our rich men, small time they will have a big stomach. Small time, they will die with, with one sickness or the other. It's accumulated sickness and disease. So this Biafra is not only about IPO being by special grace of Tukuka and Lestonian Biafra under the leadership of Mazin and the Khan. Not only that one, is to give you a better life and a healthy life. So you can be able to be healthy to enjoy that Biafra expression. You can be able to enjoy that nation. Even if you are old man, before, once Biafra is restored, you will see that you can stay enjoy yourself and even dancing and being happy in your nation. So what we have in bulk is a lot of things to ensure that Biafran people that is very well fed and well filled and well and in fact be pleased and also be happy, enjoy their nation. That is what makes people to live more long. You see somebody that is 100 years, he's still moving, not to support, not to be moving with supporting stick and all less of it. No, you see him still moving, even do jogging. It's a good of a good, a good living. It's a full security. Knowing what is good and what you will use to preserve food that is not contaminating your life or people, knowing what you use, better way to preserve our food, that when people consume it, they will still boost their life, not, uh, not taking away their life prematurely. Some people never appreciate anything good that are, we indigenous people of Biafra are doing. They will sit in face and keep on criticizing. 
never see anything good. Even when you are now trying to secure their life, give them a betterment, give them good life, give them life in abundance, they will still hate you. And then after they will work in how to make life of these people, to be fire life, for them to live long. But however, we, ne we will never surrender, we will never learn. Because what, that is what we call us for. That is why we come to this world. And we keep on asking all the Afran around the, uh, around the globe. I don't know wherever you are uh, domiciled, please. Take this initiative, it's very, very important. The modern way of cultivating impact in agriculture nowadays is differ from old method. You can have, if you have money, you can now use equipment, heavy equipment, you can use machines, employ a few people. Machine will do the rest for you. Modern poultry, modern chickens, modern, a lot of things are modernized. You need to invest a little money. You will have first a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things you're going to have first. And also, as we're speaking, this will also reduce crime, the rate of crime in our society, in the Biafran land. This will also provide the job opportunity. This will also safeguard our health. This will also make us to live more long. Why should we embrace it? With two arms, with two hands. Because the bias now, if all my kind of enemy, you mean great good things, not evil things. So if you are domiciled in a blood, please start thinking home, start thinking to do something. Factory is welcome in our land, agriculture is welcome in our land. Anything you can do and preserve it well to ensure food security, ensure the hundred percent healthy of our life, of our people, lives. Not something you would some calm food they're making today. The work they use to preserve this is very dangerous to our health. Because nobody is taking all these things. That's why you see people dying in different places, feeling sickness. A lot of evil are happening. We must impact even people that can be able to produce our medicine. Produce different, make sure this thing you produce is 100% healthy, trusted and checked and tested, and very good for our people. That is, why, that is the way you can contribute to our people. That is a division of labor. I probably will not do everything. I probably the ship has in their wisdom well articulated and give you the blueprint on what to do and what to have. It's our responsibility as a people of Biafran is for law to expand in these areas. Because the guidelines they're giving us is the right one. It's the right one in the right directions. We must enhance these things. Not gossiping, not yapping. If our youth can now stop being idle and look for a land and begin to cultivate, even borrow money from, because I could recall when we are growing up, we have a bank they call the community bank. In different communities, they have their local banks. You can go to that place and borrow money and use it to invest. But today, everything has changed. That's why we call money for Biafra Nation. That's why we call money for Biafra Nation. There's a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, benefits. What can we say and what can we not say? Biafran portrayed life, good health, everything you can think of. That is why darkness are gathering together. That is why full vulture and less of them are, don't want us to to restore Biafra. But by special grace of Shukuka, Biafra shall be restored. So I will stop here because I want all of us to be able to understand the reasons and the benefits in, in back on this project, this gigantic project. Like I highlighted, 
it will provide security, it will provide job opportunity, it will provide good health, it will provide money, riches, oh. if our people can now embrace it and also maximize the opportunity. We will be able to make a lot of money and employ our youth and reduce all the un unemployment. At the same time, be healthy in what we consume. And also have a fixed price of goods, commodities. Now, some people will come any day that like they say the onions is like this, the tomatoes is like this. In this part of the world, I am. Not every year, every month, the tomato will increase, or onions will increase. No, they have fish price. Even the poor man can be able to buy crawfish, can be able to buy tomato, can be able to buy onions. Because government will create all these things. Make sure the, the price is so, even if you go to the villages, you will bring it like a just a free. Very little money, you will, you will, you will, you will bought a lot of things. But the city is a real feast to ensure that those private ones will be able to, we can be able to afford the price. Not in our place, hey, you know, tomato nine is uh, scarce. This person will put his own 30 naira per kilo, for example. Another one put his own uh, 100 naira per kilo. They don't care. It's an opportunity to make money. But when we embark on all these things, we have a fixed price. Food will be will be enough, we go around, everybody will be okay. Why do you, have you ever thought why in Spain, when they're doing their, I don't know, maybe it's a cultivated uh, period, they do celebration, one of their tradition, they will load the trunk of uh, uh, tomato and started uh, 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 throwing themselves tomatoes. Because they have in abundance. Do you know the tomato they wasted their well during this tradition? They can be able to feed one nation or more, or more than for, for, for how many months? The, the tomato people wasted, they will use it and they enjoy themselves. Different trucks of a tomato will be felled. Well nourishing tomato, they will use it to throw in themselves. People in Europe will understand what I'm saying. It's a tradition over there. The almond always do that uh, tradition. But in our own, we don't see VC1. Very expensive. It's more than they say, hey, you don't know, this thing is not even, it's not in its season now. A tomato or do What kind of Iran nonsense is that one? Tomato do What happened to modern agriculture? Every month you need to have a single tomato. Modern agriculture doesn't have a season. Every time they can cultivate tomato, onions, all these things, every, every month, every month, nothing like season. Mentality. That's what we are talking about. And this will be, for young generation, this will provide the job opportunity for you. And you will be busy with your life. You will not be able to think in, uh, about or any other thing. You will be engaged your mindset, you engage your life, you, you, you are you giving your life a meaning. At the same time, you're protecting your nation. Because what we're going to use to cultivate this thing is something that we well know that people will eat it. It will become nourishment to their body, not to it will become poison. Before I proceed, I will also call invite uh, uh, my, uh, uh, one of my colleagues here, yeah, Marcy, if we please, what do you have to say for Biafran? Because it's a continuation about this uh, food security and also banning of all this cow in the Biafran land, the opportunities the benefits and danger ahead if we continue in that way. So, uh, Ma can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You see, no. Okay, go ahead. There we go. Once again, um, regarding uh, the issue on ground, the topic on ground, uh, the burning of full and cow in Biafra land is a step towards the right direction. Because uh, somebody who, like our HOD rightly said, somebody who killed our ancestors, our progenitors, in 6770, who committed the genocide against us, cannot be in charge of our uh, what we take with our food. They cannot be uh, in charge of our, what we eat and what we drink. Because once we give, hand over to them 
our food and drinks. That means they have the opportunity of committing the same genocide once again. And as it stands now, nobody knows why uh, we have mass death in our region. Maybe we have not met our, our time to think about all these things. So it's better, it's better. The way he has declared uh, the ban on Fulani cows and Fulani food to our region, that is a, a right step in the right direction. That is number one. And our people should as well learn how to uh, uh, grow all these type of animals for our, our own food. According to what the ref said, it will not only create food for us, it will also create jobs for us and then make us to have confidence on what we, are, we eat. The second thing is um, food security, like you said. Let me make a quickly make a, 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 uh, let me quickly say something here. According to the United Nations Committee on World Food, food security is the measure of the availability of food and individual availability to access it. Food security is defined as meaning, meaning that all, all people at all times have a physical, social and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meets their food preference and dietary needs for an active and healthy life. The avail avail uh, so uh, let me hold it there anyway. The, uh, okay, the availability of the availability of food irrespective of class, gender, or region, is another one. So, given this particular defini definition now, you will understand with us that we need food security in our, our own region. Because, like for instance, here we are. Let me make something very clear here. Any country, any region or state that sell their food with uh, Tomato or milk cup, that country or state are hungry, country or hungry state. Let me repeat, please. Can so I not stream? Let me not, uh, let me use our own language to say this thing. Obonobla G, Eco Tomato, or Eco Rice, sorry, Eco Tomato, or Eco Mia, Kama Rice, Ama Nia, 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 so that you get enough food. And the price of, like for instance, here in India, like our rep said earlier, the price of food in this country since a decade now, this is a particular place, the price of food never changed. If something has to change, it will change, but only slightly, maybe because of uh, some social, um, let me say, natural disaster or something like that, government policy. But it will not go very high that people cannot afford it. I can remember or recall what terminology that our people or, or, or normal in terms of tomato. Our people would always tell you to, to just here, there is nothing like tomato just because tomato is tomato. In our place, our people don't have tomato. You will see people scavenging for rotting tomato. Tomato that people keep here for next cultivation, that is next cultivation season. The tomato that is supposed to spread on the sun to dry. That is the type of tomato our people eat. And we are more tomato. And what else? Nobody can purchase such a tomato here. No, no man, why should you purchase some, rotten something? Something that will give you the a sickness. Tomato here, if you see tomato here, is as good as apple. The body is as strong and good like apple. But pure red. Any broken tomato cannot be added to the, uh, uh, the one they are selling. This is what is called food security. They have it in abundance. Are you talking about rice? And when is rice? I mean, and when is rice? I mean, oh, don't laugh, I don't know why. why I'm saying this thing is that 
this, uh, uh, this, the declaration by the head of the Secretary of State on uh, what is it called? Uh, 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 um, agricultural revolution is the preparation towards nationhood. Because if we don't prepare what we eat, what we drink before our freedom, it will be very, very tough and difficult for us to maintain uh, or to uh, control the food intake. It will make us to still go back to take the food, the poison being given to us by the Fulani uh, Caliphate. Therefore, the decision of our head of the electorate of state in the person of Mahdi Chike Dozim was right step in the right direction, only preparing us towards a nationhood, a nation building. Food is one of the key things we need. Number one, the rest have made it abundantly clear here. It will create abundance of food. It will create make us to be sure of our future because any country or or community that receive what they take, what they eat from their enemies will soon be wiped away because a day will come, they will put poison wipe out the entire that is why our people need to revolutionize agriculture in our make sure that what we take, we produce what we eat ourselves, not depending on our enemy to produce our food and vegetables. So, for instance, uh, I can, I know that so many youths that left this place and staying here now, back to our place, many of them are into poetry this moment. They are poetry since, let me say, since one year, according to me, this one. So I encourage more of our people, those abroad, don't wait till tomorrow. Do not wait, not only uh, not only poultry, pigry, even uh, 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 taking care of cows and all the rest of it. Here in India, in India, did you know that there are some people you know, you know, what they concentrate in line of agriculture is on how to produce ordinary mushroom. They produce mushroom in quantum, mushroom. So that every, like you said, there is division of labor. You produce this one, this person produces this one, this person produces this one. Before you know it, the market will be saturated with food and heavy food at that. And then learn everything that you need to uh, uh, preserve our food for a heavy food intake. All these things are very important because any nation that don't have all these things in place, they will always be scavenging for food. That is why we need to rethink. That is why we need to think home. That is why we need to Think, uh, or maybe like partner with each other on how to proceed about all these things. Because if you think or if you know that you alone cannot handle this work, why not we partner? There is one problem our people have. For instance, you know a, 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 one type of business that you want to uh, uh, venture into. And that business is a, a business that will consume like 50,000 naira, for instance. And you don't have 50,000 naira. Why not you look for another person that have, for instance, you have 25,000 naira. Then here in India, the best way they survive the business is that if that business will consume like 50,000 naira and this person have uh, 25, then you will look for another person that have 25, they will match together with a very strong and workable agreement. They will float their business and they will, things will start working. Well, because the greedy nature of our people sometimes, that is why these things are not working, and it, it will now affect everybody together. But if we really want to succeed in this line, this is the right time for us to think home and then think on a better way to make sure that we synergize our efforts together to provide food for our people. Because instead of us depending on full and food, is it not better to effort together to? Uh, venture into uh, massive agricultural pro products so that we have job opportunities for us. Together with providing good for people. All these things are the way to go. The journey of a, a person might start with one. And Rome was not built in a day. If we really think that 
this is the time for us to go to revolutionize agriculture in our place. We must have to make a step. We must start from somewhere. It is time for us to think in this direction because uh, two days ago, I came across uh, on the social media where some house we are killed and along the road enough to maybe when they see those cows, their cows, they will carry them and go and eat. That's thinking that, oh, these people have poisoned these cows. But thank God for that young man uh, in this particular video. He made mention of the fact that these cows we are, they were digging ground to bury those cows. Because that those cows we are poisoned by the Fulani people. They want our people to go and carry those cows and eat and then die. All these things are lessons to our leader has been saying all these things. We, it does not require a rocket science to revolutionize agriculture. For instance, things that are into tomato, tomato uh, onion production, do you know a, 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 a land as big as palo, the normal palo we have in our place, a land as big as one palo can produce full, uh, full uh, 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 pickup. Uh, size of uh, onion at a given harvesting time. Yes, if you know how to handle it, it is possible. I've seen we have people handle it here. There are some people here in India, they, only, they are only, in, their job is to produce only, and they are making well. Why can't our people learn different kind of things? If you want to do all these things, you concentrate on one, and there is what is called uh, division of labor, or maybe specialization and concentrate on it well in it. This is time to put it on this particular direction because there is nothing else we can do. We cannot continually depend on people that want to wipe our, 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 our region. We cannot continually say, depending on them. Ordinary people that the federal government will bring and not is free of charge, but once they aside to our place, our people will, it will take our people more than 10,000 to buy one bag of fertilizer to produce our things. So th this is the right time for us to think in this direction. So we, no, we are no longer going to depend on these people because these people know anything for say, for sure. They don't know anything. If we think, if we want to go into today, I know Igbo people, I know our people, Biafran people. If we go into agriculture, uh, revolutionize agriculture this particular year, 2022, I bet you, in by 2024 or 2025, and when here in the event in our region, food will be so surplus that uh, we will be throwing food out. This is for our people and think in this direction because there is nothing we can do than to focus on how to and they save our future because uh, like our leader said uh, Rep said he in a situation where we don't produce what we eat we'll always seek because we will be eat, depending on people who are dirty and who want to wipe us out for our food intakes and by so doing we are creating secrecies by ourselves for instance are you not seeing the type of level of sickness in the north. We depend on people who are so seriously dirty and sick for our food intakes. It is one lesson to learn. Before you take something from somebody and eat, you must have to look at the person, how neat he is, and then before you be able to collect something from him and put Because they say that uh, once the person is not clean enough, he cannot give you clean food. He cannot give you anything that clean. He will not give you any healthy something. That is why we need to think twice. And that is why we need to go on our own. It's nothing we cannot do. The IPOB leadership has made their research and find out that it is better for us to go into our own massive agricultural production for the betterment of our future, for, uh, 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 for a well-arranged um, um, uh, uh, food production, which will help us to build our future and then uh, 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 both economically 
and heavily as a people, there is no need continually depending on people who want to wipe us out. For I don't think I have so much thing to say other than to let our people to understand the benefits of going into a revolution, revolutionized agricultural agriculture because it is going to help us in uh, making food surplus in our region. It will uh, as well create job opportunities for us. It will also make us to be healthy because we will be able to produce what we eat. Like for instance here, no food have a uh, season here. Once we go into uh, uh, agricultural revolution here, uh, in our place, every season, every season, every season, how do they do it? They do it by irrigation. Some of us have money to uh, 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 create bowl. That bowl you can create in your house. You can as well create it if you have farms or some communities. If you know that maybe you want to really go into agricultural revolution, some communities can team together and create uh, water for, the, for their uh, uh, farming areas. They create borehole. To be able to uh, use them as irrigation. Once you create uh, uh, such a uh, 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 irrigation, that means food will never lack in that particular community. Because what food required to grow is that particular water. To supply them with water always is what will make them to be constant in your region. So these all these are the things we need to further research. And if there is any further uh, educational research we need to do about it, I think it's time for us to go into all these things, to provide this particular education to our people, so that our people will learn how to make all these things available. At the end of the day, within space of two, three years, food will be surplus in our region. For me, this is all the only thing I have to say at this juncture. No, you see, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Maz. Thank you very much, Maz. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. You have uh, well spoken. Biafrans and Biafrans and uh, lovers of freedom, let me remind you that is what Maz just said. Do, do you know that in Africa, they said people are dying because of hunger? It's very, very shameful thing to hear. Do you know the the world, the highest populated nation on this surface of Earth. Population is China. China is almost one point something billion. The same thing with India. One point something billion. Goes on uh, Indonesia, America. These people is a very populated nations. But do you know that if you talk about people that produced higher quality of rice today, is China first. Despite the, how operated they are, they produce the one of the best quality of rice, China, followed by India, then United Indonesia, uh, uh, Bangladesh. These countries is people that have operated uh, apart from uh, uh, except uh, Bangladesh. The three I for said is a country with a high populated uh, uh, population, yet they produce enough food for their citizens. Do you know, I don't know recently, if you, if you can go to our market or our traditional market, our local market, you can find, the, we have, in, in the whole world, we have up to 40,000 different types of rice. Even there is a, in any condition in Biafra land, if you want to eat rice, you have the right to eat. Because we have a different colors of rice, and all is specified uh, specif specif for particular agenda or particular uh, somebody that uh, may be some people that seek diabetes. If you if you're hungry to eat uh, rice, there is a type of rice you're supposed to eat. They have black rice, have yellow, they have brown, they have white one, they have a brownish one. All these are different colors of rice, yet specifically work for different purposes. All this is working for different purposes. But today, some people not understand. They're doing what they're doing. They're saying what they're saying. But if we are back in this, uh, 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 this project that our IPO leadership have uh, given to Biafra, we will maximize it. We find out that nobody will, will be left out. 
everybody will enjoy it. Whether you are now uh, sick of diabetes, you will be able to eat. Whether you are now uh, sick, whether you are sick uh, diabetes or whatsoever, you will still be able to eat whatsoever food you want to eat because we now be able to cultivate all these products in our own land. But today, if you see common rice eat in our places, it's very difficult. Not even talking about the specific one for people that seek diabetes or the other one that the people that have a heart attack, all these things you will never see it in our place. Even the common one, the most common one, we don't even have. We don't have even uh, enough, not to talk about, to go around with the poor man to be able to eat. Some of, in our land, sometimes people will eat rice only on weekends, only on Sundays. For you to imagine the way our people have been conditioned. But if we now embark in these rice productions, cultivating rice, you will find that we have different variety of rice. Black, uh, you have a rice, black color, you have bland, you have greenish, you have jamin, you have different colors, different type of rice. Specify for the frame people that seek. Not when you're diabetes, say, no, you don't need to eat uh, cassava, you don't need to eat rice, blah, blah, blah. All these things have a different one that's suitable for different gender, different people with different illness. That is what we are trying to do. We want to give our people better life, for them to be able to enjoy life. That is what we are saying. That is what we are doing. You know, in Africa, when I was in Africa, I never had, a, a, I never knew that you have a black rice. I never had it. I not even, I never even knew such a thing exists. To be honest, I just tell you the truth. I never knew that they, there is a red rice. I never knew that such a thing exists. But today, I can even eat it, enjoy it. You will see different, each one specify for different illness. People seek this kind of sickness, need something like this. This particular life preferable for you. People don't want to fat, they don't want to this. This is a, the type of rice that you require to eat. All oh, this is what we're supposed to plan in our land. It's all magic. It's all rocket science. It's what we, Biafra, we do. So when you go to shop, you can be able to check what do you want. You want to eat rice, but what kind of rice you do, you do want to you want to eat? Is it for diabetes? Yes. You go and bring it black rice. You bring it. That is what we need in our land. To be fruitful. To furnish in our own land. For an agenda, we have black, black everybody. In fact, subdue everybody. If you make people that more educated to, become, to begin to behave like a, like a uneducated people, even begin to misbehave, even like a people that mental disorder, as a result of contamination, once you come in zoo, your life will be contaminated. And once your life is contaminated, you cannot be able to reason. You cannot be able to figure things out. These are challenges. So I will stop here and also call one of us because uh, it's a Maze, uh, Maze Mimo for him to tell us his own side because we need to tell, educate our people for them to understand the importance for us to back in this uh, food security and also to know the reasons why our IPO leadership make that pronouncement that we very soon we bound everything called cow. We now focus on our own thing. What we eat and what we be. In fact, let me remind you before Mars is coming in. Do you know there is a particular type of cow breeding for cons consumption? There is a particular cow doing for milk. If people that engage in a, in, a, in a milk production, there is a particular cow that being low in fat. All this is, if you're not in venture in this, you will not know all these things. But anything they do now, you just bring in one, one type of cow, you just clean them a kale and begin to eat whether they are good for your head or not. You just consume, you just consume, 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 you consume. Any day you see it, you just say, hey, thank God oh, I eat meat today. But what type of meat eat? They are body required which type of meat. This is what we are going to do in Biafran. Eat meat specific for purpose. What type of meat do your body require? You go for it. If you need the one that will have a low fat, you go for that one. 
That is what we work for. Only two can knows how we want to build the Biafra. So I call him upon the man sitting uh, 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 please come and do justice to this topic. Martin, can you hear me? Yeah, Mars, okay, respect. There was sir. I can yeah, hear you loud and clear. Yeah, one watching it. Go ahead. Yeah, great beer friends. I bring you this once again. About this very topic we are discussing this very moment. The food security and agricultural revolution being ordered by our of the US, Magic Edosium. It's a very good idea. It's really, really good because I could remember when we were growing up in our land. Then I know how our parents then do plant all these things in our farms. But as of today, it's no longer like that. We could remember last it was the last year, it was late last year, yeah, 2021. When the Fulani Janjaweed threatened to boycott food supply to the Southerners, of which there's like by the stopped supplying food to Southerners for some weeks in order to punish the Southerners for imposing open grazing. This is exactly the effect of for your enemy supplying you what you consume. If they can bracket supplying us food in a peaceful time, how much more if there is a fracas or something like war, they would like to starve us, starve us to death like they did in 1967 to 1970, of which Chukwu Okabiyama will not allow that to happen to us anymore. So this idea of food revolution by our, DO, by our DOS is very, very good and is encouraging. It's really time our people go back into agriculture. Like my colleague, my people said, any nation that consumes what its enemy produces or depends on what enemy produces for survival is doomed. And we be our friends. We cannot afford to depend on what planet Janja we send into our land for consumption. Because if they got angry tomorrow, they will poison us all. But I thank you because of our soil. Whatever you plant in our land will germinate and grow. Because our land is blessed. All we need now is to go back into agriculture because we all stay in Western world. Like our Isha Koresha Arab said, there's no season of tomato. There's no season of food, even here in Cambodia. Whatever you want to eat, you can buy it at any time. You won't say because this time now is not rainy season, so the addition is not. No. Anything you need, you buy it at any time times of rice, all these things are sell a kilo at about affordable price, which everyone can buy. It's only in behind and in the zoo that rice is made, made to be a food for the rich. Here in Asia, rice is the common food for a common man. Rice is never made to be food for the rich. But in our land, they take rice to be a big thing. To extend, we eat rice only one be once in the Sundays. Every Sunday, people are expecting to eat rice because there is hunger in our land. So, great beer friends, 
I advise us all to go back to agriculture. Because IPOB leadership have laid down all these plans for us in order for us to build our nation. Because once Biafra is being restored, we will not talk about, we will never say anything about hungry on. Because the master plan, the master plan about the food will be enough, food will be enough in our land. The best time will be given out to others because I trust Biafrans. It's all that the zoo did everything possible to publish our people through their policies and then planning his men, destroying our farms, killing our farmers and our mothers. All went hiding. No one can be able to go to farm out of fear of their life. But now we thank God for Tachko Kabiama, for our leader, Mazen and the Kanu, who brought Eastern Security Network to guide our land. So we can go back to farm to produce what we consume. It is very, very important. I also ask plead to our prayer, brothers and sisters that stay in diaspora. We can join hands together. To, to create one thing, farming, agriculture, which is very, very important, and to be helpful to our people, because it's good, and it will be of our interest to produce what we consume. Like our DOS rifle say, and from April, the ban on planet car take place. Yes, it's very good. Apply that very idea. We cannot continue to consume planet cows in our land because we are blessed. Water and oil does not mix together. Those their cow they bring to our land, and most of them are contaminated. It's just that some people cannot show the picture and videos of what most of those cows they slaughter. Abattled. Where they keep those cows. If you see some of them, you will not be able to eat them. So I want to add vice friends. To rise up now and put more interest on this food, food revolution to make Biafra land a land of food. So we will have enough to feed our people because it's very, very necessary. We cannot continue to depend on our enemies to give us what we eat or to produce what we eat. I so much believe that the system of Biafra restoration and the Biafra as a nation. I know when Biafra is being restored, Biafrans will never lack food. Because those championing the restoration of Biafra are men and women of Timbas and Caliba. Who knows what it takes to build a nation. We Biafrans are people of love who love ourselves. But our enemies push us into another dimension. I remember those days when we were small. In times of harvesting, you can go to a neighbor's place and take food without paying because they will have enough to eat and to give people. But now it's no more like, it's no longer like that. So I encourage our people. I say it's time. We all go back to our to farm. We go back to farms so that we can produce what we consume in our land. Start taking something from the, our enemies or those who want to wipe us out on the surface of the earth.
There is a video I saw some days ago on social media internet. One young boy uh, from Manambake was cattling his, their own cow. I said, yes, that is a dear friend for you. And I strongly believe, as from a prayer, dear friends will full, go back full into the animal husbandry, bear of cows, because their friends have rejected planet cow. As long as the, this pronouncement has been made by head of DOS, I believe their friends will buy by it. It is time to say no to all these planets, production of anything, whether agriculture or cow. I believe in due time, even their tomatoes, they will sell it in their own land. If we are interested, we go there to buy it. Not them bringing it into our land to poison our people. If we are being restored tomorrow, poverty will last in Africa because Biafra as a nation will set the example for others to follow. I thank God for this generation of Biafra and IPOB leadership. For all these strategies they are bringing, putting in place, all these they are good strategies. It's just to make things very easy for our people about what to come. Because they will not have to see the image. And what is the image? What is the image? Everything we are doing, we are trying doing everything possible to make sure we restore the kingdom of God on earth. And so our enemy are also planning their own. But we must be prepared. We must prepare our mind, our heart, our soul for what is to come, especially in times of food. I say it's very, very necessary and important we all go back to agriculture. That's why I'm appealing to our brother and sister in Ascora. Look for some people at home. Two people, three people. Join money together. Let's start establishing. We should go back into agriculture. I believe there's men and women that can handle it down there. So that we can produce what our people can consume. To prepare ourselves against what is to come. Because this struggle of Biafra is divine. And Chuko Chuko Kabiama is handling the affair. I think I have to stop here. I have more I don't have much to say over it. But Chuko Kabiama continue to bless you. Mars Chica. Mars can Oscar Kirk. I hand over the microphone back to you. Thank you very much, Mars. You have done justice to this particular topic. Uh, please, all our uh, listeners, if you are just joining us on Radio Biafra, Africa, uh, Alsa 2, is still in men, uh, my, myself, uh, Mars, okay, Koska, Asia Lep, and also a member of the United States, and I'm also here with me with Mars, Mars, okay, Chukwe, and also, who just spoke now, Mars, we are cross session, few cross session Asia National Coordinators. We are doing justice to happenings in Biafra land. And also, that is a what topic we are discussing today. But now, now as you can see, our time is rolling up. I, I think we are now, we are about to uh, winding down from our uh, topic today. So uh, please stay tuned. We are about to, uh, 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 I don't know if you can hear me, please. I need your, your closing remark and also support for Eastern Security Network. So because now, Sanu Chansi, when we said this full security without uh, having security men on the ground to secure our land, to secure our farm, all this our vision will become, uh, will become, uh, will not be fruitful. But if we have our security on the ground, securing our border, securing our land, all this our vision will come to fulfillment. 
So I must say, okay, you are pleased. You are closing the mat. Very, very important. No, you see, thank you once again um, for the opportunity to uh, to talk to dear friends. And I want to use this opportunity as well to thank uh, our anchor this morning, Wachineke, Mazi, Anthony Obilo. Mechuko Kabiyama continue to bless you for the immense work you are doing for Biafran Restoration. And also, I want to thank you, Mazi, Osko KK, our Asian rep, for the work, good work you are doing. I, my greetings go to our head of directorate and all members of the uh, directorate of state, ranging from Mazi Chita, it does and down. I, my prayer as well goes to our leader, Onye Dumazim Nam the Kanu, for wherever he is by now, God in his infinite mercy will protect him and then give him victory in the remaining days, uh, remaining for him to come out from the zoo dungeon. Anyway, in respect to uh, the, uh, my remarks, I just want to uh, remind dear friends the enormous work before us, because whatsoever you do in life, you need to prepare yourself very, very well. And I strongly believe that the leadership of this particular effort has created a, an a, a enabling environment. They have provided the enabling environment for all these things, all these visions, all these dreams to come to fulfillment. And what is those? Uh, what are those uh, uh, enabling environments? They have been able to create Eastern Security Net Network through the instrumentality of our Ebu leader, Onyendumazim Nam De Kano, to make sure that our bushes, our forests are protected from the uh, Fulani hegemony. So what do we need to do? We need to support them. I want to make, uh, I want to use one assertion here. I want to tell one story here, brief, just brief story. During the course of India fight uh, for, their, uh, for their freedom, a time came during the reign of uh, Mahatma Gandhi when it is said like this, do you need to eat food? Do you need food or your freedom? Let me repeat. A question, a question uh, came up that time. This question go, that question goes like this. They usually ask people, if you are talking about, oh, I don't know how to do this thing, I don't have money to support this, I don't do this. The people at the helm of their faith will ask you, do you need food or freedom? When they ask you this question, you will have no other option than to respond positively. I need my freedom. Because with freedom, food is nothing. With your freedom, education is nothing. With your freedom, uh, what do I say? Social amenities, everything will be available when you have freedom. Turn to India today. India, despite their population, they are one of the most uh, 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 technological and countries in the world. They are very, very good in IT, information technology, India. And food is here. Like, every damn thing is here. Despite the population of these people, food is not in here. There is, food is nothing. Food is not in here. So, in order for us to achieve all these aims, one thing is very really important here. We have to make it a point of duty to be supporting Eastern Security Network. Because... One year of their existence has proven that they are exceptional. They have been able to um, arrest full and uh, terrorists from our uh, territory. They have chased them out of our forests and bushes. That we don't need to abandon them. That is why we need to support them. That is why we need to make it a point of duty that we, no matter uh, the little one we have uh, uh, at our reach, we have to provide for the uh, a continuation of the good work that this Eastern Security Network people are doing. They, they have secured our territory, and we need to support them. We need to do everything humanly possible to make sure that we support Eastern Security Network. It is our duty. Nobody is going to do it for us. Politicians are not going to do it for us. Good, heavy businessmen in our region so -so are not going to do it for us. Even though the monarchs in our region are not going to do it for us. Because the only people on the North Ma Adegoku Freedom, in the North Ma Adegoku Freedom, it is the people, the Dantrodu, that are talking about freedom. And that is why, no matter what it takes us, we need to squeeze out things to make sure we continually 
supporting this particular effort. Supporting Eastern Security Network is supporting Biafran Freedom. Supporting Biafran Freedom as well is supporting our individual and collective uh, uh, future, future. So in that regard, we will get, we will achieve all our dreams, our ends and objectives together as a people. And then we will get, get Biafra. When we get Biafra, all these things we have dreams will come to reality or fusion. So I want to use this opportunity on behalf of IPOB India. I want to send my greetings to you from this particular part of the world. I wish you all, all well, all our listeners this morning. I pray that you God and continue to bless, protect, see us through, and then grant us this our heart desire, our pressing heart desire, by by releasing, by getting our leader released, and then giving us our freedom, the freedom of the freedom, the free, unadulterated freedom of the people of Biafra. No, we want you to Marzi, okay. Thank I return this microphone back to you. you. Thank you very much, sir. No. Thank you very much, Marzi. If we move. Without wasting more time, let me quickly go to Marzi. Marzi, Chinedum, please, you are closing the mark, please. Be fast, yeah. please. There we go, Marzi. There we go, there we go. Go ahead. Yeah, great, dear friends. I greet you. I bring you greetings from IPOB family here in Cambodia. I want to say a special greeting to our head of directorate of state, Kaidosium, and all the members of the directorate. Uh, so, my, I also want to say thanks to our Ebu host, as a marching leader. We are good world. We are dear friends and lovers of freedom. I want to use this very opportunity to say something concerning our men in the forest. Because we all know how it goes. Like for instance, now we're here in Daspura working assiduously to get, make sure Biafra is being restored. Likewise, some of those down down here at Biafra land. But the most important and the greatest are those men that, is, um, that are in forests. They are in forests and in bushes. They have abandoned everything to make a life living, life living, living hood, life living hood. families just to protect our land. Just to make sure that our mothers and fathers go back, go to farm. Just to make sure that our families sleep at night. I said, we will not allow them to lack anything. So therefore, I appeal to their friends worldwide to rise to support Eastern Security Network. For these men are divine. They are the army of God. The choosing ones to protect our land, and they are doing the needful. For the past one year, they have been able to prove to the world that they are capable of defending their land by dislodging the planet terrorists that have been dumped into our forests and bushes. So I said, Betukokika Biyama, continue to bless them and protect them. And also, I bring a greeting to our leader, Onyenduma Azinandeka, and I say, wherever he is today, the plan of enemies will not accomplish his head. He shall stay, finish, and come out with victorious, because he is the chosen one. Today has been a wonderful day, and I believe the dear friends all over the world have hear our voice. I say, Mechuku Okabiyama continue to protect us all. In the mighty name of Chukwu Kadiam. Mazi Osko KK, I say, May Chukwu Kadiam continue to bless you for all this good work you are doing for their friends. We yeah. never lack. They will, Mazi. I hand over the microphone back to you, sir. Thank you very much, Mazi. You are a great man. Thank you very much uh, uh, for that uh, wonderful closing remark. Please, all our listeners and lovers of freedom, Wherever you do, Miss I hope we, and the uh, people in Biafra land, please 
as we listen our voice today, is here we bring it to cruise. But remember that to we still uh, Asia National Coordinators always come on your way every 5 a.m. Biafran time till 7.30 a.m. Biafran time every Sunday. Please always do it to always have it in mind to join us. Please, it's very, very important. By the special grace of Chukuka, next week we're going to come on your way again with another powerful topic to discuss. Because we always discuss what the, uh, our things that we will do for betterment of Biafran nation. So please try to create a time to join this explosive uh, uh, program every Sundays from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Biafran time. Please, it's very, very important. And also, I want to use this opportunity to thank our presenter, Mas Machineke. You have been doing a great work. Please, I will say, may you come bless you. And they always give us a, a chance and a time for us to to use their platform to propagate this gospel of Chukurika Biafra. Because whatever you hear in the radio Biafra is gospel truth. We are here to speak the truth, but not to, uh, but the truth. So we now use this opportunity to call upon the name of Chukwokika Biafra Chipulimihene to continue to protect our leader. Because our prayer and our heart and our prayer day in day out is for to, uh, to free our leader and all the other people that are incarcerated in all prisons across Nigeria, that all of them shall be released in no distant time. And also, more important, for Chukwo Kikara to give us freedom, which is Biafran resolution, for us to have our nation where we can be able to think, where we can be able to make our policy where we can be able to worship Chukwu Kikabiam with spirit and truth. And also, I want to give you the opportunity to thank our uh, great men, women that is in the bushes and forests, protecting our land. And also, at the same time, I want to ask all our lovers of freedoms for them to help to support these people. They need their help. Prayers, help them with prayers, help them with financial aspect of it, for them to be able to excel, for them to be able to protect our land and our borders. They need it, please. Continue that Chukwuka may continue also this year to protect you. And also, with them on their guide in our borders, for an agenda, we will not be able to come into our farmland to destroy whatever we have vested money to cultivate. Remember, whenever you're think, thinking about business, you first of all think about security. So this is very, it's very, very necessary that we support them so that they can protect our land when we cultivate, when we plant yams, when we cultivate, all our business will be, uh, will be there. And when we want to harvest, we will be able to harvest in abundance. And also, I want to use this opportunity to also thank our head of the Director of State, Marcheka Cheka Edozium, and Deputy Head of the Director of State, Master Yusugimik, and all the members of the Director of State, and, and also other principal officers, and especially uh, Asia National Coordinator. I say, Kudos to you all. You have been doing great work. And also other principals of other principal officers and also different departments we have in the IPOB. Please continue in the right path. Continue to do your work. Continue to do your assignment until Biafra is restored and beyond. Our remember our goal is to restore Biafra. Nothing more, nothing less. And that Biafra is what we must surely restore. I say May Chukwu Kikabia am continue to embrace all our listeners and lovers of freedom. I say remain yours, Ma, I say, Osko Keke, Eshale. From here, I say, 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 I say